Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're going to show you how to make salt beef, or corned beef as it is known in America. Salt beef, though integral to Jewish cuisine, was actually brought to the city of New York by Irish immigrants. It quickly became a delicacy due to its unique taste. Cured in water, salt, herbs, pepper and spices, once it is tried, it's never forgotten. Step 1. You will need the following ingredients to serve eight people. Two and a half kilos of brisket, trimmed of excess fat, four liters of water, 625 grams of coarse salt, 350 grams of brown sugar, one tablespoon of crushed peppercorns, one tablespoon of coriander seeds, 10 allspice kernels, one head of garlic cut in half, four bay leaves, and a few sprigs of thyme. Here is a handy list of the ingredients. You will also need the following utensils. A large plastic container, an egg, a saucepan with a lid, a colander, a large knife, a slotted spoon, a small bowl, some tongs, a large fork, and a tray. Step 2. Make the brine. The brine, which will cure the meat, is the heart and soul of this recipe, along with the quality of beef. To make the brine, add the water, salt, sugar, bay leaves, thyme, pepper, coriander seeds, and allspice into the saucepan and bring to the boil. Once it is boiling, take the pan off the heat and allow it to cool down. Step 3. Check the saltiness. It's important that we check the saltiness of the brine to cure the meat. So gently place an egg into it. If it floats, the brine is salty enough. But if not, add more salt and take out the egg. Step 4. Seal to cure. Once the brine has completely cooled, transfer the meat into the large plastic container. Add the head of garlic and pour over the brine. Due to the amount of salt in the cure, the meat will float to the top. Place a medium-sized bowl or some other heavy object on top of the meat to keep it fully submerged. Then, seal it tightly with the lid. Step 5. Cure the meat. Now, mark the date with a sticky note. Place it on top of your container and transfer it to the fridge. It can be left to cure for a minimum of five days for a lighter, less salty cure, or up to two weeks for a more mature, fully rounded flavor. Remember to remove the meat from the fridge to turn it around once a day. to ensure an even distribution of cure throughout. Tip. When turning the meat, do not use your hands as they carry bacteria. Use instead a fork or tongs. Then place the bowl back into the container to submerge the meat. Seal and place back into the fridge. Step 6. Wash the meat. When it's cured to your liking, Tip the meat into a colander and wash it thoroughly for a few minutes under cold running tap water to get rid of all the salt. Then, put it onto a pan and cover it with water. Step 7. Cook the meat. Next, place the pan on a medium to high heat and bring it to a simmer. Skim off any impurities that float to the top with a large spoon. Then cover and allow the meat to gently simmer for three to four hours until it's super tender. Top it up with water when necessary. When it's cooked, very carefully remove it with a large fork and a slotted spoon to securely hold it and place it onto a tray. Don't worry if your meat breaks up. 
It just means it's really soft and tender. Step 8. Serve. Salt beef can be served equally well, either hot or cold. If you wish to serve it hot, allow it to rest for a few minutes before slicing. However, you can place it in the fridge overnight and the meat will be easier to slice the next day. A quick final tip. Always slice meat against the grain. Serve with mustard, pickles, sliced gherkin in a bagel, or on crusty bread. And that's how to make salt beef the video jug way. Enjoy!